What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to blend your animations based on which weapon your character is holding. So in this project I've set up my weapon system with simulated physics pickups and my two weapon system. And if you haven't already guys, I highly recommend you check out those videos because this is built off of the top of that. And on that note, if you like anything you see about the setup in this project, check out my videos because swapping your character out with a metahuman, animating it with realistic poses and procedural recoil and so on and so forth is all included in my videos and it's very easily set up if you follow along. So if I grab this weapon here, you'll see my character has one kind of animation and if I grab a different weapon, it's a different animation so on and so forth, different for every weapon, because obviously with each weapon I want his grip to be correct and slightly different um, so that each weapon looks and feels right. So without further ado guys, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, if you haven't already, what I want you to do is find this animation starter pack on the Epic Games Marketplace and click add to project. And if you can't see your project here, just click show all projects, select your project, and then select the most recent compatible version, which should be 5.2 and hit add to project. You'll see that it has added this anim starter pack folder to your project. And we've got a whole bunch of animations here, but they are for the UE4 mannequin. So we are going to need to retarget them for the UE5 mannequin. If you have started with the third person template, you will have a retargeter already. If you've started, for example, with the first person shooter template or a blank project, you will not have the retargeter. So you will just need to click add, add feature content or pack and add the third person uh, content pack to your project. That will give you a retargeter. And what we're going to do in this Anim starter pack is right click and create a new folder call it UE5 and then I'm going to filter these by animation sequence so if you don't have this filter here just click this little icon animation and animation sequence we're going to filter by animation sequence and then we're going to press Control A and then right click and retarget animation assets duplicate and retarget animation assets slash blueprints we're going to select the retargeter UE4 many to UE5 many and I'm going to change the folder to Anim Starter Pack UE5. Hit OK. And you want the uh, the skeletal mesh that your character is using uh, on here. So I'm using Manny. If you're using Quinn, you want to change that to Quinn. And hit Retarget. This will take a few moments. When it is done, it will take you to the folder they were retargeted and duplicated into. Right here, we have a whole bunch of animations retargeted onto our UE5 mannequin. So you can uh, open up any of these and you'll see very nice, some useful stuff here. This will save you a bit of time. Um, it doesn't matter which animations you use, but this is just one option to get some animations to get you going. Um, okay, the next thing we're going to do is open up our animation blueprint. But before I do, I'm just going to open my character's blueprint and uh, I just want to point out that if you, you know, you start with Quinn, you may have changed this to Manny. So you do have the option here to change the animation blueprint to ABP Manny because ABP Quinn, for example, has the more feminine idol um, among a few things, a few small differences. Um, I'm going to use ABP Manny, but no matter which one you're using, ABP Manny or ABP Quinn, I'm just going to hit this browse icon here to browse to the animation blueprint. You should make all of the changes in ABP Manny because ABP Quinn is actually a child of ABP Manny. Okay. Um, so everything you do, you should do in ABP Manny. So I'm going to open this up. And the very first thing I'm going to do in the event graph here is change this reference to the character because this is not a specific reference to the third person character it's to the character class so we won't be able to grab our current weapon int 
from this character reference. We need to delete this node and instead I'm going to cast to third person character, plug these in and also select this set character reference node and change the variable type to third person character object reference. It'll ask you if you want to change the variable type, change variable type, it will do some things and stuff. And now we will be able to get uh, current, whoops, sorry, get current weapon int. And I'm going to promote that to a variable, leave it called current weapon int, add an execution pin, plug this in here. Nice, now we have access to our current weapon int. We can head on over to our enum graph and what we're going to do is straight away I'm going to disconnect this main states state machine and I'm going to copy its name and then I'm going to drag off of here and I'm going to find new save cached pose and I'm going to click on that and rename it main states. So basic, basically I'm saving this, whatever this outputs into a cache, which I can call elsewhere. I'm also going to do the same thing for my weapons. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to make a new state machine. I am going to call the first one pistol enums. I'm going to copy that name, cache that pose and I'm going to call that pistol atoms. I'm going to duplicate pistol atoms and rename it um, AR4X atoms. That's the name of my assault rifle. I'm also going to copy that name, cache it, rename the cache AR4X atoms. And now I'm going to blend these based on our current weapon int. So I can right click, I can find blend by int, blend poses by int. And I'm going to add pin, right click and add blend pin as many of these as I need. I've actually got six weapons. Pistol is weapon name zero and my AR4X is weapon name five. So um, you would obviously need to plug the appropriate animations into the appropriate blend pose pin, but I'm just going to show you uh, pistol atoms and AR4X atoms. So I can pull up my cached pose pistol atoms, plug it into blend pose zero. I can also find my AR, AR4X atoms, plug them into blend pose five, and then active child index is going to be your current weapon int. And then the output of this, I'm also going to cache. And I'm going to call that cache upper body atoms. Like so. Okay. And now what we want to do is blend our lower body atoms and our upper body atoms with a layer blend per bone node. So I'm going to disconnect this uh, default slot here. This is for animation montages. I am going to grab my main states and I am going to drag off of here, get a layered blend per bone. And this is going to blend our lower body with our upper body. What we want to do is select it and then drop down this layer setup in the details panel over here and index and find branch filters and add a new branch filter. Drop down the index on that branch filter, change the bone name to spine underscore zero one. And we want to check mesh space rotation blend and mesh space scale blend. So this node is going to blend whatever's plugged in here into all of the bones above the first spine bone, so our upper body. And I'm just going to grab my upper body atoms, plug it in here. And the reason we want this 
default slot for montages here is because if we're playing any montages they're probably going to be like reloading or firing montages so we only want them to play on the upper body nice this is all set up what well, we've got some warnings here ah we didn't add the animations here sorry about that so i want to go into pistol anims here and off the entry i'm going to add a state i'm going to call it base and then in base i'm going to grab my idle pistol animation from that folder plug it in here and i'm going to with it selected i'm going to make sure i check loop animation over here then I'm going to back out, also go into my AR4X enums, also add a state, also called base. And in base, I'm going to find my idle rifle iron sights, plug it in here, make sure it's looping. And now if I compile and save, it should be working. Now, the problem here is he's uh, he's doing the pistol pose even though he's unarmed. Um, so it's not the best demonstration of how this works. So I'm just going to fix that really quick. Um, the problem is with my enumeration. So if I go into my weapons folder, I've got this enumeration weapon name. And uh, I usually have zero as unarmed. So I'm gonna add one more here. I'm going to call it six. And bear with uno memento por favor. I'm gonna move all of these down one. And make this one unarmed. Okay. And now pistol needs to be one and AR4X needs to be six. So I'm just going to very quickly open BP AR4X and change the weapon name to six. And my BP pistol, change that weapon name to one. And then in my animation blueprint, I am now going to add one more blend pin. AR4X will go into blend pose six. Pistol atoms will go into blend pose one. And then in blend pose zero, we can just get our main states. Plug that in there. Now, if I compile, these should be idle, normal. And what I'm gonna do is grab one pistol and one assault rifle right here. I've got my idle animations unarmed. If I grab the pistol, he's doing the pistol pose. And if I grab the rifle, he's doing the rifle pose like so. And I can switch between them. The animations will change. Very nice. Um, and if you'd like to know how to change these animations to look a bit better, I highly recommend you check out my left hand IK, hand sway, procedural recoil, and realistic third person poses tutorial. Yes, that is one tutorial. It is quite a banger. It's an hour long, but you set up some really cool stuff and it's very easy to follow uh, as are all of my videos. Um, but that's it guys. We've blend poses based on which weapon your character is holding. So if this tute has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will See you on the next one.